and good afternoon and welcome back. Let's see what happened since this morning. Nothing. Let's see, I want to check the mail. Yeah, I want to check the mail after I got a, get my minutes card from my phone and out over to the food store, grab a sandwich, a little turkey dinner. I think it's actually a meatloaf dinner, actually, so meatloaf dinner and a sandwich. So I got my rather toasty walk-in after I go, well after I gone, get my butt work done. So yeah, I think I'm done walking for today. Of course, checking the mail, I gotta make a trip to the bank tomorrow. Yeah, fun. Which means I have to go walk again. Oh boy. No, nothing else has happened. No, actually, no, I did this. The 1956 Summer Games in Melbourne, Australia. The 16th Olympiad. Held from November 22nd to December 8th. During Australia summer. So that's just why it's the later in the year. 72 nations and 3,314 3, athletes. It's also the first games in the Southern Hemisphere. First games under Avery Brundage. Equestrian events was held in Stockholm and Sweden in June. Mostly due to the strict quarantine laws in Australia. Nine different nations boycotted for various reasons. I don't think any of it's Australian related. And then there was a match of blood po water polo game between Hungary and the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union had a Suppressive invasion of Hungary. No, Hungary wasn't too impressed. Uh, there's some violent skirmishes resulting in some blood being drawn, and the audience almost getting involved themselves. Yeah, it, well, it was pretty nasty. The game was eventually cancelled, and Hungary have awarded the win due to them being actually ahead of the time. Johnny and Wing. He writes to the IOC, making a suggestion that all all athletes and nations perform March as one at the closing ceremonies. And that's a tradition that continues today today that started in nineteen fifty six. So there. So you see the closing ceremonies, all the nations coming in at once. Yeah, I could say, oh Johnny and Wing. That was Johnny and Wing's idea. Australian of Chinese descent, apparently. Most goals and most overall. Surprise, not the U.S. It's the Soviet Union. 37 golds and 98 overall. Host Australia. 13 gold, 8 silver, 14 bronze for 35 total. Co-host Sweden. Well, they did kind of co-host, even if it was just equestrian. 8 gold, 5 silver, 6 bronze for 19 total. And Canada had 2 gold, 1 silver, 3 bronze for 6 total. Now, earlier today, I, men uh, I, I mentioned the men's basketball team schedule for the well, this year's Olympics, and I'm going to give you the women's schedule. July 29th versus France. August 1st versus Australia, and August 4th versus Nigeria. So there you go. There you have it. Oh, yes. 1978 quarterfinals, game three. I thought it was game three. Montreal beats Detroit. Montreal is now up two games to one. Toronto beat the Islanders. Islanders are still up two games to one. Boston beat Chicago. Boston's got the commanding three games to nothing lead. And Buffalo beat Philly. Philly's still up two games to one. So, yeah. Of course, uh, while I was playing those games, I was watching my growing pains. And cheers. The Dukes of Hazard. And I'm not watching TV anymore today because, well, I'm done. I'm done. Until tomorrow. Tomorrow I call her Nova Scotia. Today I call her New Brunswick. 
province was easy, but the flag there, a fair bit of detail work in the top part of the top and some of the middle part of the flag there around the ship. And I included the ship. The rest of it wasn't so bad. Tomorrow the Nova Scotia flag won't be so blood won't be so bad. So there you go. There you go. Not really colored of Nova Scotia color. For the US, I'm gonna be using that color. For the province. Also I'm up in my odds of getting the U Haul and the license plate at the same time, so So yeah, there you go. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.